got an appetite, let's bake ourselves a treat. What you've been mixing, serve it up the way you please. I love the way you shake, you stir, you heat, you squeeze. So thick. Push up and butter me. Preheat this oven up like 5,000 degrees. It's almost ready, we've been craving this all week. Oh. If you want it, I got it. I'm hooked on you like phonics. Gotta be honest, you're on it. Get a cash and tell my family out of the hood. That's a must. Put baby with no soldiers. Bad past never left my mind, it's taking over. No, I should have died, that's why it's hard to stay sober. Glad to see the sun, but my heart getting colder. Life's all crazy, what we've been through. Okay. We die the only time that they gon' miss you. Tell so my mama no Tears, no more tissue. Okay. Ooh, just some hood, baby, with some issues. Love, baby, from the struggle. Long time I had a hustle. Glad we made it through. I'm just glad we made it through. Love, baby, from the struggle. Long time I had a hustle. Glad we made it through. I'm just glad we made it through. Pull up in that rain, see me balling. Yeah, 30 feet on my wrist like I'm hardy. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Y'all know who it is. Y'all know the voice. Y'all know the sound. Your boy James Bubba Williams, DJ exclusive, is in La Casa, literally. <laughs> But good morning, everybody. It's good seeing everybody this morning. And yes, we are back with another Beard Bunny Chronicles. Yes, giving you some of this good old BBC uh, this morning to you. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's checking in in the chat room, man. Let's see who we got. Shout out, Nat. Hey, Nat. Good morning, Nat. Tyler Hackner, good morning. Yogi Pretzel. Sean Payne, good morning to you, Sean, Brian West, boo, Brian. What's going on, Brian? Environmental Coffee House, good morning. Neon Death, good morning. Kareem, what's going on, Kareem? Good to see you. Token Black Man 7, God, I hate trap music. <laughs> You're a terrible person, okay? Uh, Smokey Rose, too, good morning, to, uh, Smokey, don't worry. It'll pop back up on the stream, I'm sure, sometime soon, okay? um, Let's see, Bluebird on my shoulder, good morning, Sue Life. Good morning to y'all, man. Good to see everybody, man. Shout out to my folks also that's not in the chat room, but also watching. Shout out to Q and the rest of the crew out there. Shout out Mama. Good morning, Mama and Daddy. Love y'all. Mean it. Mama's at work right now, working hard as usual, but she don't know what else to do. Anyway, y'all, how are y'all doing this morning? It's been a minute. I feel like it's been a very long time since we've uh, done the show because Bubba has been booked and goddamn busy. I mean, it's just like... I don't have nothing to show for it, but more bills. It's, it's the way of the world, I guess. I don't know. Somebody help me, please, because I'll be struggling bad. But I'm I'm here. That's all that matters. And let me go ahead and put it out there now. I won't be here this Saturday because I have an event that goes from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So Saturday I won't be here, but I'll be here in spirit. Okay? So y'all wait to see me then, all right? Love life. Good morning to you. Um, let's see, uh, how y'all, like I said, how y'all doing, man? Let's drop y'all mental health check-ins in the track on a scale of one to 10. How are you doing this morning? I will probably say I'm about in eight, eight, maybe nine, you know, I'm not fretting, not stressing, not worrying. Got my coffee. Don't start work till later. So I'm about a nine. Now, if you can't see the TV, but the Xbox is on the TV right now. Um, so I'm chilling. I'm good. I'm going to say I'm about an eight, pushing nine. Probably had that smoke. It might be a 10, but I'm going to wait to smoke until after work because I'm responsible. <laughs> All right, let's see what y'all got in the chat today. Let's see. Brian West says he's about an eight. Okay, Brian, that's good. Uh, Soul Life's a five. Oh, Soul Life, I hope it gets better. Jessica Lee says an eight. 
Uh, J Row 49 and 9. Okay, welcome, 9. Nat A, strong 7.5. Yogi Pretzel says a 7. Shaw <laughs> says 8. I'm the Lulu girl. Me too. <laughs> Bluebird on my shoulder, 8.75. Okay. So life says, but I'm always at 5. <laughs> I feel it. Green Ransom, 7.5. Smoky Rose, 8.7. Got coffee and jazz. Cabbage with just drained and in pain. Wow. <laughs> Smoking, that was a lot, my good God, somebody. Okay, let's see. Corey Ivy, how you doing? Neon Death says, I just like waking up early to, to cool, wet mornings, but other than that, it's pretty chill currently. That's good. Nat A says, 10 after my wake and bake, and environmental coffee says, I'm on, I'm an eight ish. Okay, I feel it. It's good to hear that everybody is doing well. That's all that matters, man. Hey, do something for yourself, make yourself feel better, man. If you're feeling down, feeling low. Get out there and do something for yourself. You know, tell everybody, like, hey, I need a break, and I'm going to take my break. All right. So we got a lot of stuff to cover today because yesterday seems like it was early Christmas for me. So we're going to get into it. So let's start first with the Marvels, okay? I must say, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. I saw it last week. And it was good. I must say I I enjoyed the crap out of it. Um, but clearly, the masses did not. It struggled at the box office, making only $45 million opening up at as Marvel's lowest opening for the uh, box office for a Marvel movie. The one that previously held the record was The Incredible Hulk, which came out in 2008 which had a $55 million opening. And even though the Marvels opened at $47 million, it still finished number one at the box office. So it was still good. Um, the movie to me, I would give it a, I would give it a seven, a seven out of 10, maybe a, an eight out of 10. I do want to go see it again. There were, it, it didn't drag. Um, there weren't a lot of slow spots in the movie. I appreciated it. It was a fun and it was good. I enjoyed the movie. It is some, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, there are some spoilers that I want to say so bad, but I'll give y'all another week before I say anything. So if you have not seen the Marvels yet, I recommend that you go see it. Uh, let's see. The Marvels finished number one at the box office in this opening weekend, but grossed just about 47 million in domestic sales, according to studio estimates on Sunday. Um, according to data from Comscore, the latest Marvel project is also the studio's lowest performing one. Y'all go see it. Okay. Y'all go see it. Then after you watch the Marvels, go watch Loki season two finale. It was good. I won't say nothing about that either. I won't spoil it. But I think a lot of stuff is being set up. The Marvel set up a, a lot of stuff with this multiverse thing. Or Everybody's doing the multiverse. My gosh. Like, even stuff that's not even in Marvel is doing multiverse. Good morning, Mama. Love you. Mean it. But like I said, go see the Marvels, y'all. You won't be disappointed. I was not. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, when you come back, y'all, let me know what you think. I think you'll like it as well, too. So, since we're still on Marvel, it seems like it's a Marvel field day yesterday. Yesterday, they released the first trailer to Madam Web, which is another movie in the Spider Man universe. <laughs> I love Spider Man, if you did not know already. Um, but yes, Madam Web trailer came out yesterday. It's, it's releasing on February 16th, 2024. And when I tell you, I'm excited as shit for this movie. Because, like, it's multiple Spider people. You got Spider Woman and then another Spider Woman. And then I forgot what the other person's name is. So let me, let, let me just give you a, a quick synopsis of the movie. If you're not a webhead like I am. All right. So Madam Web is the first all-female spider hero movie. Um, it's coming out, like I said, February 16, 2024, connected to the Spider-Man cinematic universe, although it's described as a standalone origin story. Madam Web, whose real name is Cassandra Webb, is a mutant with clairvoyant powers who has been associated with various spider women in the comics. 
excuse me, Jessica Jones is the director, SJ Clark's uh Clark's and Ham Sony's oh duh Bubba. Jessica Jones director SJ Clarkson Helm Sony's first female led Marvel movie with Dakota Johnson starting as a, the title character and Sydney Sweeney playing Julia Carpenter slash Spider Woman. And the villain for this movie is Ezekiel, who is played by Tahir Rahim. And give you a background on the villain because I had to look him up myself. The villain. Ezekiel Sims, though he was not bitten by a spider, Ezekiel's connection to the spider totem gave him many of the same powers. He had wall crawling, enhanced strength and speed, and possessed his own spider sense. So basically, it's like a evil Spider Man that they're fighting. Looks pretty damn cool. I like the suits, everything. If you watch the trailer now, all the trailers are online for this as well too. You'll see it. And then when they do the little cut scene where it goes to the different Spider-Women, it's pretty freaking cool, man. So I'm excited for this movie. Again, it comes out February 16th, 2024. Make sure that y'all go see it. Um, not only that, there it goes. That was, that was, that was, that was all of them. That was, that was it. That was, that was it. Y'all missed it right there. Anywho, y'all, make sure y'all go see it. This is like one of the, I think this would be the third movie in the, in the Spider-Man universe. There's so many universes. You had Venom. Uh, Morbius. So we'll talk about that. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about Venom either. Then you have Craven the Hunter that's coming out as well. Too Craven looks pretty goddamn good. I'm not gonna lie. Craven and then Madam Web, and there's also a Venom three in the works as well. Too all coming back next week. Soul Life says bring back Morbius. <laughs> We gonna have to talk about that one because that one was just a hot ass mess. Shout out to everybody that's just joining us this morning. Mario Drake, good morning to you. Lily, good morning. Al Booga, Al Booga, what's going on? Good to see you. Let's see who else did I finally miss? The Pendulous Dragon, good morning. And I got Gwen already too. Hollywood, what's going on, Hollywood? All right, now like I said, uh, Marvel yesterday. I just they had time yesterday, and I'm guessing because. They said that the ratings were so low, or the box office opening for Marvels was so low. They were like, we're just going to hit you with the wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. So not only did we get the Madam Web trailer yesterday, but we also got a trailer for Marvel's What If Season 2. Now, if you did not see the first season, it's on Disney Plus right now. I implore all of you to go watch What If. Hands down, one of the favorite shows that they have done with Marvel. It's animated. It's off the damn chain. So Marvel is diving back into the multiverse with What If Season 2, which is scheduled to premiere on Disney Plus on December 22nd with a new episode airing each day for nine days. So it looks like it's going to take us all the way to uh, New Year's Eve. So we have everybody coming back for this one. I mean, it's... The What If, let, let's see, how can we say it? What If was the first ever animated show from Marvel Studios, which saw its series debut in August 2021. The show dives into the limitless possibilities that lie in the alternate timelines of the multiverse. <laughs> For example, what if Ultron from Avengers, Age of Ultron, succeeded in killing the entire planet? Or what if Thor never had Loki as a brother? Or... What was the other one? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Black Panther. It wasn't uh T'Challa. It was Killmonger as Black Panther. Off the damn chain. So make sure y'all see it, man. December 22nd. That's when it starts. I can't wait. All these questions are answered in the series, which sees a lot of hypoth hypotheticals brought to life. Yes, Sean Payne said it best. With strike being over, we are getting bombarded with new stuff because when i tell y'all and this is something i didn't put in uh on my list for today because i forgot about it but that goddamn mean girls reboot that's coming out in january now it looks like it's mean girls the musical but it looks like a few people are reprising their roles as well too so i can't wait to see it i am a mean girl um fan you can't sit with us <laughs> and on wednesdays we wear pink y'all do y'all <laughs> this is a funny story <laughs> Do y'all know that there is somebody at my job that used to work 
with me in a different position and then they like trans uh, moved over to another position and then I became their boss basically. Okay. So when I was on my admin side, when I was an account manager, my uh, co-account manager now, we would always talk and just like, we'll say Wednesdays we wear pink. So we had the whole office wearing pink. Everybody was wearing pink, like everybody. So do y'all know that one time I had to write this dude up because he wasn't doing what he's supposed to do? Why is this man talking about that we had a secret thing going on where they were only wear pink and they wouldn't include me and I wasn't invited? What the hell are you talking about? (laughs) Yes, he was upset because he wasn't included. He wanted to wear pink too. We said, it, I mean, everybody in the office was wearing pink. How you didn't get that memo? I ain't got nothing to do with it. Anywho, shout out Jefferson Brown. That's <laughs> in the chat room as well too. What's going on, Jeff? B, hi, B. Good to see you. I know. That's why Bubba's beard is so big. It's full of secrets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. So, let's move on. Some more upcoming news out of Marvel. Once again, I told you, Marvel just, they just came out and just hit people over the head yesterday. So, yesterday, it was announced that Pedro Pascal, yes, Pedro Pascal from The Last of Us and uh, The Mandalorian, uh uh-huh, will now be playing Reed Richards in the Fantastic Four Reboot, and I gotta say, I'm here for it. I think I, I'm here for it. Now the internet was in a in an uproar yesterday because it wasn't John uh, Krasinski, 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 because it wasn't John Krasinski, and he did his thing. He played his role. He was great in Doctor Strange. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but he played the little role in Doctor Strange, and it was cool. I was okay with it, but Pedro, man, I think Pedro, can, uh, okay, I mean, I do have a, a few reservations, excuse me, but I think he'll kill it. It's it's a lot of money over there. And also rumored to be in the running for uh, everybody else. Let's see, you have Javier Bardem, who is in talks to play Galactus. And I'm here for it. I, and I cannot wait to see that shit. When I tell you Galactus, I remember in the last Fantastic Four, now granted, y'all, this is probably the third time they rebooted Fantastic Four. They did the first two movies, then they had the reboot with uh, Michael B. Jordan in it, which was off, oh, just awful. I'm going to say horrible. <laughs> which is awful. And now you have this new one coming out, which is now being done by Kevin Feige and everybody else. So I really think this one is going to be good. But Galactus, Javier Bardem, just remembering what he did and uh, what was the movie. Y'all know what movie I'm talking about, where he used the cow gun to kill people. Y'all know what movie I'm talking about. And I know somebody's going to drop it in the chat. But just seeing him in that movie. Yeah, I'm here for him playing Galactus. Also, I heard this morning that I saw No Country for Old Men. If you've never seen that movie, man, I'm a movie head. No Country for Old Men. Y'all, trust me. Trust me. I never let you down, right? No Country for Old Men. Um, But also, they're saying that in the running for (laughs) Galactus... (laughs) And maybe it's not Galactus. Maybe it's another part of the movie. Hopefully it is. They're playing, they're saying Antonio Banderas. <laughs> uh, yes, Puss in Boots, Antonio. For Galactus, no. Maybe for another role, huh? who knows? We'll see. All right, what else we got? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes, yeah, so the other casting, we have Vanessa Kirby, who is rumored to be uh, Sue Storm. Joseph Quinn as Johnny Storm and Ebon Moss Bachrock as Ben Grimm. Now, you can go look up these people. I mean, I, there was a four shot that I had. Um, 
that shows all of them and i'll see if i can get it for y'all but yeah it's i'm i would be satisfied with the casting give me one second let me see if i can pull this up <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's just joining me. And if you're just joining us this morning, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Beard Bunny Chronicles with James Bubba Williams, DJ Exclusive. You know, yes, the show is called BBC, but get your minds out of the gutter because it's Beard Bunny Chronicles and not anything else. You little nasty people. All right, David, I'm driving this link for you right now, David. Let's see. Uh, boom. So here are the four that they are talking about casting for the new Fantastic Four movie, which I'm excited about. John Luke Wright, Galactus calling you friendo <laughs> before destroying your planet. <laughs> Eat the goddamn planet up. <laughs> yes, it was, Joey. Joey, good morning to you. So these are the four. You got uh, Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards. That is Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm. Okay, I'm here for it. Johnny Storm, that's Joseph Quinn, bottom left. Uh, yeah, I see it. I can see it. And then <laughs> Ebon Moss Bacharach as Ben Grimm. I think the, I think it's spot on. I mean, it's white as hell. That's all I can think about, but they fit. They fit the characters, man. <laughs> Anywho, I'm excited to see this, and I'm excited to see what comes out about this. And it is rumored to be coming out in February 2025, so we got a long ass way to go. But now I think all the movies are gonna start popping out everywhere now. All right, so since we're still on video games now, I mean, still in the Marvel universe, let's jump to some video games. Huh. Goddamn, I'm thinking about the beer, boy. <laughs> Gets in your mouth. You know what? I'm going to leave y'all alone. Now, <laughs> Spider-Man 2. I don't know if y'all have played that yet. Spider-Man 2 came out on October 20th. And when I tell you, that game is off the damn chain. I have beat it 100% complete, including the trophies. 100% on the trophies as well, too. When I tell you, I ain't play no games with this game, man. Anywho, the game itself, Spider-Man 2, that is, is up for seven nominations. We got Game of the Year, Best Game Direction, Best Narrative, Best Performance, Yuri Lorenthal, which is the uh, which plays Spider-Man's character. And then you have Best Action Adventure, Innovation in Accessibility, and Best Audio Design. The game is off the chain. I just have so much fun flying through the city. I just hate that I beat it so damn quick because now I don't have anything else to play. I mean, I have a lot of other stuff to play, but Spider-Man 2 was just so fun. I just pick up the game and just go fight around the city now because there's nothing else for me left to do. But it's fun. If you have not played it yet, Definitely get it. It's on PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 Slim is out now as well, too. And now they have a bundle deal. You get the PS5 and the game. I'm about to trade mine in, even though I already got the game and I got a PS5. I still want to get it because I want the Slim one. Um, but yeah, if you haven't played this yet, man, check out Spider-Man 2. I wish I could play some for you. I got to get the right connectors and stuff and plug everything in. But yeah, we'll see it. And the last thing I have today for you. <laughs> oh, David, let me drop this for you here in Slack. This is the thing about having a MacBook with multiple pages. You can do all of this stuff. Andre 3000. Yes, you heard me. Andre 3000. Andre Fat Stacks himself will be dropping an album tomorrow titled New Blue Sun. world stop but it's not what you think it is <laughs> andre 3000 rapper turned actor turned flautist will be dropping a 23 i'm not i'm not sure how many tracks it is but it's dropping a flute album tomorrow 12 a.m midnight tonight because boy when i tell you i will be 
up. But yes, Andre 3000 is dropping a flute album tomorrow. It says no bars or anything on it, and it's just going to be him straight playing the flute. Now, what you see that's playing in a B-roll right here, this is actually an interview that just got released about an hour ago. Uh, it's about 35 minutes where he's talking about uh, Outkast, his new music and everything. And it was a part at the beginning, he was playing the flute, and y'all, <laughs> y'all, I'm freaking excited. David, if you could play like the first 30 seconds of that, and let, let me let y'all hear a little bit. Like I like season season food. Like I hate bland food. Okay. So I season my clothes a lot. One of my homies told me like after I finished Hey Ya and I played it for him. He said, man, if you put that out, man, your career is over. <laughs> <laughs> and look at it now, one of the top songs ever. That's like one of the, the coolest things about the recording. Like I'm actually listening to myself be a baby at something, you know, be a baby at this new machine that I've never touched. Like 80s doctor's office. <laughs> David, you can stop I right there. <laughs> yeah, so that comes out tomorrow. And I'm gonna say, I'm 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 not I'm not mad. I'm not, I'm not mad at all. Like it sounded like, oh, wait a minute. It got a nice little groove to it. It almost sounds very similar to the some of the undertones in um Afrobeats and African music. There's this special on Disney Plus that they did about the music of Wakanda Forever and how they got came up with a lot of the music. And when I tell you, it was like the most awe-inspiring thing I've ever watched. It was like just the music and how they came up with it, having those same instruments. Just amazing. So I'm really excited to hear this album sound. I wonder if it's going to be one of those things. Yeah, it's him playing the flute, but is it going to be like him with the flute and like some beats in the background of it? Like the bass drop might come in on boom. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to hear how it is. I know that there's been a lot of uh a lot of memes going going around. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna pull up one for y'all now. <laughs> Let me see here. Let's see the other fellas go. Uh huh. Is it this one? <laughs> nope, that's not it. Anywho, you'll see the memes. The memes are going around talking about they're gonna be. <laughs> how me and my boys are going to be listening to Andre 3000 when it comes out and it's in the, in, in the studio. Serious as hell. <laughs> somebody talking about the other one I saw was Lizzo playing the flute and somebody twerking in front of it. <laughs> so I'm excited, man. I love good music. And we get a chance to hear what that's about. And I'm excited. Um, also at midnight tonight, Drake is dropping Scary Hours 3. If you don't know what Scary Hours 3 is, Scary Hours 3 is one of his songs that he's been doing, I think, over the past few years. So he'll be dropping that tonight as well, too. Y'all know they can't. If one person can't have the sign. It has to be everybody. So, yeah. Okay. But anywho, Drake is dropping that tonight. So, I'm excited, man. There's a lot of stuff that's going on in the entertainment world since the strike is over with. As you see, all the movie releases and trailers and everything else is dropping. Music is about to be real popping again, and I cannot wait for it. And yeah, but that's all I got for today. So I'm going to turn it over to David because I already know David always stays with some in the tank that's going to make me laugh and whatever. Oh, yeah, take your time. Took three years on one song. David, what are you saw that at? Th oh, no. <laughs> no, he didn't take three years on one song. It's, it's a song that he does every year over the last three years. It's probably more into that. 
Yep, Mario Drake, Aubrey. <laughs> Man, the dang on. I told you yesterday was just like amazing. They dropped the video for uh, Drake and J. Cole. I forgot the name of the song, but one of my favorite songs off the for all the dogs CD. And when I tell you, that video is everything because it's one line where J. Cole says, uh, him and Drake is the Spider Man meme is Drake him looking at Drake, and then they put it in the video. They both dress like Spider Man. It's, it's freaking awesome, man. Anyway, they're both going on tour, which I can't wait for. But I doubt if I go. Oh, just saw this this morning though. Beyonce, that I heard, is in talks to headline a Vegas residency. Of course, headline it, but is on uh is in talks to do a residency. At the freaking sphere in Las Vegas. Can you imagine seeing Beyonce's visuals? Because all her tours have like the best visuals ever. But can you imagine seeing her visuals in that big ass dome? If you've ever, if you haven't seen the videos of the sphere, my God, please go look it up. Las Vegas sphere, and it just looks like it's real in there. Just think about Beyonce doing the Renaissance tour in there. Oh my gosh, I'll be there. I'll probably be there for a week because I'm gonna see the show multiple times. And trying to get in there is gonna be off the chain as well, too. All right, Smokey Rose says Drake ain't for me, but Megan, she put a new song out. And she ate all of her Halloween cosplay. Smokey, yes, she did. That song, Cobra, I love it. This coochie depressed. <laughs> she came back. I love how she did that. The video was off the chain. It has a lot of anime feel to it. When she climbed out the snake's mouth, that is from, if I'm not mistaken, my friends are going to cuss me out if I get this wrong. But it looks like it was from Naruto when she crawled out the snake's mouth. Now, I'm probably wrong, and I'm sure I'll get a text in a few minutes. But either way it goes, it was off the damn chain. And then her um, Halloween looks, her cosplay that she did this year, my Jesus today, off the damn chain. I love that lady so much. Um, and But she had her Halloween party here in Atlanta. And, of course, I couldn't get there because I was DJing my damn self. Anywho, I, no, I probably won't be there last year because I'm not going to miss out on my Halloween parties. Those are so much fun. So much fun. All right. Let's see what David got for us as well, too. Mark, what's going on, Mark? Good to see you, John Luke. Good to see you as well. There we go. Can you hear me? Mm hmm. All right. Cool, cool. Got gotcha, yourself. So you're talking about music. So I figured that this would be a good, this would be a, a good way to, uh, to, to segue. <laughs> let's see it? what david got so <laughs> have you have you seen this already i want to say i have but i don't think so david let's uh let's run it for the people wait why is it not hold on a second there we go that's why okay so a popeye's employee decided to quit in a really epic way that's all i'll say <laughs> here we go I hate quitting the job. Hey, let him know you about to quit. J-Rock always. <laughs> but you know what? The hype man was too much for me. You came in saying already too early, bro, that uh, tell him that you about to quit. 
Man, shut the hell up. It's supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> but damn, it's Popeyes. I would have quit. Quit. <laughs> I would have quit too. <laughs> but that was terrible. That was terrible. He took it to a new level, though, because, you know, you always see the people like at Walmart and Target and other places that just pick up the intercom and say, and, and curse off the entire management. Uh-huh. This is, this is how you, this is that's setting This is setting a new bar. Like, you know, there, there's, you can't just pick up the intercom anymore. <laughs> that's it gives me, I have so many questions. Like, did you, uh, Oh my gosh, my camera died. And that gives me so many questions. Like, did they just like, did y'all bring a sound system in there? <laughs> The hype man was oh. definitely his, the hype man was definitely either a, a, a co-worker or ju- or like just planned it with him and, uh, and they, somebody, they, somebody. they brought their mics in. <laughs> David, I'm grabbing my, uh, my battery. Let me see. <laughs> That's funny. David, what else we got? I know. Always. It's yellow. My time now. Let me stop. <laughs> No, I said you're gonna have to wait. Uh, and while y'all are waiting for me to change my battery, man, if you want to, and if you have not already, DJ X3C on Cash App and Venmo. DJ X3C on Cash App uh, and Venmo. If you want to treat your boy to lunch or dinner or whatever today. <laughs> I know you can't see me, mama. There we go. Now I'm back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> David, what else you got next for us? Uh? All right, so I, I know the I I knew I know the song. I didn't know it from the question, and I feel like I would have been just like every other of one side of the people that you're going to see in this video. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I'm going to ask the question because chat can kind of participate, but um, don't answer it, Bubba. Don't don't you'll know the answer probably, but don't answer it. So, uh, where was Usher at seven (laughs) o'clock? Try seven o'clock. What? Where was Usher at seven o'clock? Where was Usher? Where was Usher at seven o'clock? What? Where was Usher at seven o'clock? I don't know. Where was Usher at seven o'clock? I uh, sure don't know. Where was Usher at seven o'clock? Who? Usher. Where was Usher? Oh my. Where was Usher at seven o'clock? And who's dropped top please in the street? Period. Where was Usher at seven o'clock? Doing what? All right. Okay. <laughs> Where was Usher at seven o'clock? Um, I'm in the driveway. Where was Usher at seven o'clock? Where was Usher at seven o'clock? In the drop top, cruising the street. Yeah. <laughs> Candace, where was where was Usher at seven o'clock? Where was Usher at seven o'clock? Uh, wait, hold on. Seven o'clock? Where was he? <laughs> I don't know. Where was Usher? <laughs> it's seven o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top cruising the streets. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all remember? Now, I will say, David, <laughs> somebody got me the other day. And was like, uh, how do you spell Usher? <laughs> and my dumb ass, you talking about Usher? Like, in, in the church? U-S-H-E-R? <laughs> and it was like, okay, you didn't get it. I was like, damn, my black card just got revoked. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't have known the answer, even though I've heard the song and I know the song. Right. <laughs> but... I wouldn't have been so far gone where I, where I would have been like, who's Usher? That the, you just know the areas of the country where these people have grown up that that are saying, yeah. who is Usher? You say, who the f is Usher? I mean, I don't even need to know the context. The Usher versus Usher. If you're saying who is Usher, 
I mean, come on. <laughs> that was I feel like they one. grew up listening to Sweet Home Alabama. Uh, okay. Or uh, what's the other one? What's the kid rock song? <laughs> Which Any one? Kid. Anyone, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious! Yeah, yeah just, I mean, I I didn't like I said I didn't know the answer, but when 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 two or three of them were like, "Who's Usher?" I'm like, "Come on, come on!" <laughs> right, like y'all are. Are you freaking? None of you are right that now? old. Come on! <laughs> Shout out to Q that's in the chat. Big man left hand. <laughs> when I said Queet earlier, that's his nickname, y'all. Queet. <laughs> that guy. I didn't mean. I was like, Queet. What the hell? <laughs> David, I'm dropping you a video in Slack, but if you got something else for us, please go ahead. I think you'll like this one. I do have something. I don't know. Let's see. When I saw it, I was like, this is great. But sometimes my humor doesn't, isn't shared. So we'll see. <laughs> we shall see, dude. We shall see. So I feel like this is sort of like the Elon Musk world versus reality. That, that, that's how my mind took it. That's terrible. I'm going to say this. <coughs> Average car. I'm going to say this. Beach car. <laughs> Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> Mercedes. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? How did you go? Mercedes. How did you go? Mercedes. <laughs> Mercedes <laughs> outreach car. <laughs> David is a hot mess. King Kong, <laughs> King King. I say King Kong. King Kong. The per yes, the cassette tape was my favorite part. Of that. <laughs> oh man! Actually, no, that that came that that was second to the rolling down of the window. The rolling down of the window hit me. I was like, mm, yeah. right. <laughs> Mine don't even go down. It must go down to a certain point. And Q, uh, Q can attest to this. And it, I can't get that way. And the roll down is like, D. <laughs> yes. I do want to know who had. Who still, I mean, for, forget about a cassette deck. Oh, man. Who, most people don't even have CD players in their car anymore. <laughs> I have one. It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Terrible. It's all Bluetooth or Apple player, car player, I mean, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. What, what, did early 2000 cars have cassette decks? Maybe. Maybe early 2000 still have Yeah. Uh, no. Because. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yes, I yeah. Yeah. Because my 97 Ford Taurus. Got them old. My '97 Ford Taurus had the uh had a the the car the the the, the cassette tape, and when I because <laughs> I had to had my own little personal CD player, I had to plug the, the the cassette tape in <laughs> with the little cord that came out and plug it to the CD player, <laughs> and it didn't have anti skip, so every time you drive in the little CD player, it's go <laughs> it's go scratch. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, close 22. That's because David was on. That's uh 
I saw David. Oh, the, the the echo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the cause, echo. Because yeah. I don't because because I don't have my headphones in, so I'm trying yeah. to mute as much as I can. I have a headache, so I couldn't put my headphones in. Yeah, I feel um, you. that hurts. Yeah. Oh, um, all right, so I got one more, and then I'll play yours. Okay, you got it. And, 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 and I want you. And I and I and I want to. I want to know if people think that this is like, um. Not AI, I guess, like, uh, like, like green screened, or if this is real. Oh, David! I, oh my gosh! Go ahead, David! I got one. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't have the answer, but I do know that I, I do know what this really is. We'll just say that. It's okay. Not sa- it's not what he says it is. So Chicago's the number one city in America oh, yeah. that is rat infested. The biggest rats, the most rats. Somebody needs to tell me where this place is at because they just beat Chicago for the biggest rats in the world. Just look at this rat here, bro. Then they're just trying to get the rat out, bro. I would have left the rat out in the sewer. Just look at how big this rat is when it comes. Just look at that. At that point, I would have ran. I would have booked the plane ticket and left wherever place this is. You mean to tell me this rat's this big? Just look at that thing, bro. I just get the egg just looking at this, bro. <laughs> the fact that they're there trying to get it out of there. Like, bro, just leave it down there. Look at it, bro. The rat don't even got a tail. It's been down there so long. Bro, ain't no <laughs> way, bro, there's rats that big, bro. Somebody tell me where this is so I never find myself going there. No way. Uh-uh. So. <laughs> so, do you think this was real or, or fake? Well, I had already saw it. Look. Oh, okay. So you are okay. <laughs> but, but the thing but, is, is that the comments call like the comments. He must have hated himself. Well, maybe not because it probably made him some money. <laughs> but right. the comments were definitely correcting him because no, there are no rats with no tails. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, this what is, is what it is. Yeah, a copy, a copy bar, a couple, a couple. <laughs> Damn, they can run up to twenty-two miles per hour. Them little shits fast. <laughs> they have their own song. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm not doing yeah. We're not. We're not. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, let me go check out your link while you uh, while you try not to choke. Right, and shout out to everybody that's tuned in, man. I hope y'all are enjoying what you see. And shout out to my. Uh, my people that are watching right now. Good morning, Donnie and Dan. Jeff, good morning. Q, good morning. They Mac. They say I embarrassed them this morning. I love y'all. Mean it, but good morning to y'all. Queet. <laughs> oh man. Oh gosh. Y'all are annoying. Y'all are so so annoying. Uh, what's everybody's plans for the day? I know mine include uh, work. And I was supposed to go wash clothes because I feel like I haven't washed clothes <laughs> in a damn month. Okay, it's, it's not so, just me then, good. It's not just me. Right. <laughs> I gotta uh, go I, wash. I'm, I'm 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 going to buy some socks because I'm not doing laundry today. <laughs> you like me, I go buy drawers because I don't feel like doing laundry. I usually I usually don't, but I'm like, I can't do laundry right now, so I'm buying socks. Let's indeed. And if anything, yeah, I'm just gonna be free balling. Y'all have to deal with it. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna go wash clothes. It's too much money. Washing is is expensive when you don't have a washer and dryer in your house, okay? Expensive. Please, somebody help me. <laughs> Let's take a look at this video that I found. If black people say it, the stuff white people say. <laughs> Was it hard to grow up in the suburbs? <laughs> it must have been really boring with no police activity or anything. Your hair is amazing. You know, it's kind of like my golden retriever. It's so limp. <laughs> like, how do you oh. do that? Oh, wow. Your name is so easy to spell and pronounce. Was it like really easy to get a job? Check out got these photos of me volunteering at an orphanage in Europe. Cool. Those little white boys and girls, they were so inspiring. Oh, wow. No, you don't sound like a dumb hick at all. So cool. You are so pretty for a white girl. It's really sad when Romney lost, huh? Good old Mitt. 
Couldn't do it. Could not do it. You were dating a white guy. Does he have like a really tiny penis? Oh, uh, you must listen to that rural music, right? You know who you look just like. Who? Jennifer Lawrence. So we just saw Titanic. How are you dealing? I had no idea your people had it so hard. This is so pale. Can I touch it? No, I was just talking about that with my friend Jeremy. He's white. He's white. Too. I don't even think of you as white. I don't. I really don't. Wow. So you have to wear sunscreen? That is so crazy. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm from out of town. Can, can you help me find some meth? What do you mean you don't listen to meth anymore? You're white. I've always heard that white girls are like super boring. And <laughs> hey, uh, you know I can buy some meth? <laughs> My favorite one, uh, oh, excuse me, it's gonna mosey on by you. <laughs> Ooh, gonna slide right by you. <laughs> oh, oh! Was it hard to grow up in the suburbs? It must have been really boring with no police activity or anything. Your hair is amazing. Yeah, it's not even golden retriever. It's so limp, Like, how do you oh, do that? Sounds like a golden retriever. So spelling pronounced. <laughs> really easy to get a job oh check out these gosh. photos of me volunteering at an orphanage in europe cool. those little white boys and girls they were so inspiring oh wow no you don't sound like a dumb hick at all that's so cool you are so pretty for a white girl it's really sad when romney lost her. good old mitt couldn't do it could not do it you were dating a white guy does he have like a really tiny penis Oh, you must listen to that rural music, right? You know who you look just like. Who? <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence? So we just saw Titanic. How are you, you dealing? dealing? <laughs> I had no idea your people had it so hard. Your skin is so oh. pale. Can I touch oh it? Oh my gosh. No, I was just talking about that with my friend Jeremy. <laughs> He's white too. I don't even think of you as white. I don't. I really don't. Wow. So you have to wear sunscreen? That is so crazy. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm from out of town. Can, can you help me find some meth? Can you help me find some meth? What do you mean you don't listen to Macklemore? <laughs> You're white. I've always heard that white girls are like super boring. <laughs> oh, my head hurt. I'm not sure which one's my favorite. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that I had I've ever had a white person ask me any of that. I don't think. I'm trying to think back to college. I mean, definitely not in college. Probably at my Disney World internship. I probably have. <laughs> Man. It would actually be a good it would actually be a good a good uh, an interesting uh Look at me objectifying. It, it, would, it, would be, it would be interesting to, to, to find out if it happens more to men or women. Because mm. I don't know. I'm, I'm inclined to think it happens more to women, to be honest. But uh huh. And, I, and, I, and, and not just black women, but definitely not white women. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> right, David. But yeah, no, I, for some reason, I feel like mm. it happens more to women, but it would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Mario says, I had plenty. And Smokey Rose says, child, I had my whole damn time <laughs> in Maine. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> you ever throw a chihuahua off a roof in the projects? <laughs> is, is, what? I know, so like, what? that's some damn half bait. You ever, you ever, I can't oh. even say it. You ever, crack? I seen them. <laughs> when he was at the meeting. <laughs> so life. Oh my gosh. You are banned, okay? Sir, you are banned. <laughs> All right, y'all. Man. The time is now 11.06. 
Easter Standard Time here. And uh, I guess it's time to go on about our day and mosey on down the road somewhere, huh? But before I do, let me see what I got for you today. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this one is for Brian West. <laughs> Did you hear about the guy who dipped his testicles in glitter? <laughs> Pretty nuts. <laughs> One more, one more for you. One more. I burned 2,000 calories today, y'all. I left my food in the oven for too long. <laughs> that first one was a repeat. That that doesn't even count. That was a I repeat. Know, that was a repeat. What? That was a repeat. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I know. I know. Like this one, David. Diarrhea is hereditary. It runs in your genes. <laughs> Here's another one. Last one. And then I'm going to give y'all this affirmation that we out of here. When I was little, my parents always fed me alphabet soup, claiming that I liked it. But they were just putting words in my mouth. <laughs> Hey man, I love y'all mean it. Let's get out of here today. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, and all that other good stuff, man. And if you feel so inclined to as well, please tip your, your DJ, your host, and your person with the most. That's right, James Bob Williams. DJ X3C on Cash App and Venmo. DJ X3C on Cash App and Venmo. Now I'm looking for a song to play, and of course I can't find it. <laughs> because I'm for the record, for the reason no one sees this slide is because we didn't include it in the actual package, but Bubba uh -huh. insisted that we make it. I did. And what do you call a lizard that doesn't work? <laughs> a reptile dysfunction. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh David, oh. I blame David for this. Y'all, I love y'all. Mean it again. DJ X3C on Cash App and Venmo. DJ X3C on Cash App and Venmo. Your affirmation for today is: Let me find it. I know I am okay. I know I am okay. Besides being mentally unstable and crazy i am okay i love y'all mean it man we will see y'all on saturday raid message neon death says hey welcome y'all hey how y'all doing <laughs> good to see y'all if you haven't already make sure that you watch the song like it or not on saturdays at 10 a.m ish the song gonna say 8 p.m friday you know how we do because that was the original plan but you know I still ain't had a chance to <laughs> change the damn thing yet. Anywho, it'll get changed eventually. I love y'all mean it again. I give y'all different affirmation because I was like, I know I am okay. I, just, I need more than that. I focus on being thankful for what I have instead of what I have not yet obtained. I focus on being thankful for what I have instead of what I have not yet obtained. Love y'all mean it. See y'all next week. Beer at Bunner Chronicles, out! Yeah. OMW, nothing left to prove. So enjoy the view, taking a picture like Malibu. I'ma have you on tiptoes, watching my diamond afterglow. I know you wanna take me home, I'm on my way, on my way.